the best thing would be to have this whole area. Just for me. And have the fences somewhere here. At this length. So they will be totally away from the explosion. So I still have a few gates. So what if I just cover this up? Put it in. No man, that's not how I wanted to put it. God damn. Messed it up. I didn't want to put it this way. Okay, so it's pretty much how it was before, I guess. Uh, and I could just bring this back a little bit more. This is just wood. Bring it back this way. So I'm gonna need one, two, three. And then the door traps are actually below. No, they're not below. They, they're gonna hit that one. So one, two, three. Over there. In the line in the middle. I think I might just cover it up with blocks, to be honest. Then I'm just gonna remove this block underneath and put the fences over there, sideways. Or I could just put them upside down. Behind that block. But when something blows up, the fences are gonna blow up with. And I got two more, that's fine. But I got this going. I'm also working on a way to be able to get closer to fix the first blade trap. So I did this with this block and I got this plate on the inside block and this plate on the outside. And then I added these arrow slits upside down so that I can see. So that I can reach all the blade traps to fix them. But uh, the first one I can just fix from where I'm standing. I can just look this way. And I can just do this to go there. Because all I need is to see the bullet traps to fix them up. So I can fix them all. And I was actually thinking about covering up this uh, central line. To make them choose to go either for one side or the other. Have it close up this way. You know, all in the line of sight of the dot trap. I'm not gonna upgrade it for now. Because I'm gonna have to put in the fences. So, one, two, three, four, five. Maybe I could add just five fences here. And they all gonna explode at the same time. <laughs> That's the problem. The fences are gonna get wrecked. If they were out here, the best thing would be to have this whole area. Just for me. And have the fences somewhere here. At this length. So they will be totally away from the explosion. So I still have a few gates. So what if I just cover this up? Put it in. No man, that's not how I wanted to put it. God damn. Messed it up. I didn't want to put it this way. Okay, another cool thing is, I got clay here. So it's going to be easy to put the fences underneath so that they cover the first block. But let's put in this thing first, so a 7 here is going to work very well. So do I have a... Oh, I got a 7. I got a 7, man. Everybody, I got a 7. I can. There it is. Beautiful. No one gets through. And I can just put the fences in here. Oh yeah, I think this is a solution. I'm not even going to put a roof on, over this thing. I'm just going to have the fences back here. And I can have five of them. Like this. And I think five of them is pretty good. And they have one, two, three, four, five blocks until the area where the zombies are going to be. So I think five blocks hopefully will be enough to keep them away from explosions. There she is. That's a long shot. Yeah, not sure if I'm going to get her from here. I got her from here, but she's not done. Now she is. Good. Thank you, Magnum. You served me well. There it is. This is where the other five are gonna be. Cool. I just need a 754 on this side. Oh yeah, I think that's gonna be pretty cool. <laughs> Way too much work. For a, if I if I started doing this on my own, outside of POI, I think it would be done already. 
But the whole point is to defend the puzzle office. It doesn't look like the puzzle office anymore. But uh, okay, uh, I think I think it's gonna be pretty cool. Okay, so we're chipping up. So what block dot? Not gonna be able to fix the fences, but uh, well, I just can't fix it all. Because if I do a hole to go to and fix the fences, they're gonna come through there gonna be a weakness so I can't have weaknesses zombies are very strong okay so that's the idea I think that's what I'm gonna go with I'm gonna need another gate a 7 by 4 the dot traps since they are in this position I'm just gonna turn them off on on and off with a switch uh, I'm gonna have to judge when I have more zombies because when it starts to cool down I'm just gonna turn them off for a bit, let the bait traps do their work and the fences and shoot them in the face. So and I'm gonna have extra ammo. Let's actually just put it in right away. So if I put it this way, I only got for two. So I can just do more. They're not that expensive. So that's what I gotta do. Gate, fences, and dot demo. So let's do the fences. Uh, so here, let's do... I'm gonna do 20 instead of 10. I only need 10. So that's cool. There's also a fluorescent light. Interesting. And everything else, I think I'm good. I cranked up a little bit more force dying. Because I don't have that much. Less than a stack. And I still got... Three more blade traps and a generator and these SMG auto doors. Now this is gonna chew up a lot of ammo. I'm gonna try to not use them for now. I might add them later. Got more concrete max, which is great. I'm actually gonna drop some. I don't need this much. Two stacks for now. That's good. And this one is not doing anything. Okay, I got two extra blade traps, dart traps. I mean, gonna leave them here. I got the gates. And I got the big one coming in. Nice. So these are switches. I'm gonna bring them to. Switch for the hobos too. I know. I don't think I need this blade trap neither. I already got them all there. Six. So I think that's all. Now. I will also bring some steel, and I'm gonna upgrade some blocks with steel. I think it's gonna help. In the meanwhile, let's take a look at the farm. I think I already did today, but uh, coffee plant, blueberry. So they're already done. So they didn't. They didn't take any time at all. Now these ones are the new ones. And look at the mushrooms. They're already done too. Holy moly! Cool. The hops are done. That's nice. Maybe it's time, real time, that takes these plants to grow. And not like the the number of days or something in game. So these are growing. Yeah, these are the new ones. And I also got the yellow. So that's nice. So let's see what else what seeds I picked up. Picked up some hops. Let's just put them there. There you go. Pumpkin. I guess I can do another one here. Got. There you go. Blueberries. Not enough for coffee. Can do a couple more of these. Let's put them in. And I also got the mushrooms. Only two, but apparently they grow just fine here. Out in the open. That's cool. Okay. What about the water? There we go.
I was gonna do I was gonna go for I was gonna craft a bunch of armor and clothes and stuff to start selling but maybe just for now I'm gonna hold off on that so I got another potato and a couple of ella well where is he there's a monkey guy get out of here man I gotta scream around. I didn't hear one. Yep, this is fine. So there you go. That room to put them there. Potato and a couple of ammo. Nice. And I have to collect more farm, more rotting flesh. Should also go on and loot to see if I can find the rest of the vehicle box because I'm quite close. I only need seven more to get the gyro. And I'm gonna do a little platform on top of that. I'm gonna extend that in that direction. It's gonna be like a big old landing pad. I think it's gonna be pretty cool, so let's see if I got it all. Okay, I got some fences coming in. Let's just put them in. Because I also want to calculate if one generator will be enough for you. I think it will, but you never know. There's a lady. That's pretty far. Oh, that's a head. You see the head falling down. Oh, that was so cool. Wonderful. Okay, so this is the area for the fences. Let's upgrade the block underneath. Concrete, because why not? And let's stop putting them in. So we got one, two, three, four, and five. Nice, nicely done. So why is this gate open? Uh, I only open up the other one. I guess I should upgrade this block. Yeah, let's just bring him up to cobble, to concrete. I mean, oh, the gate went out. Holy moly! He was being supported by the floor. Of course he was. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna need another one. This is concrete. Okay. That's done. So... This one is fine. So let's leave it close. And this is a 7x4, so I'm gonna need a second one. So let's put the blocks first before putting in the gates. Might be better. Oh, I didn't bring any wood. Holy moly. Okay, so I need another gate anyway, so let's just queue up. My wall seems to be working. Scream approved. Totally. Cool. At least, while I'm here, I haven't had a screamer inside the town hall. Not up there, there's no way for her to go up there. So that's nice. I need some wood. Picked up like 40,000 40, wood last time. So there you go, 6,000. Nicely done. So what else we got going on? Okay, that's working on it. This is working on it. Let's queue up more for Zion. That's what I need right now. And I got the fences. So let's do another. So it's this, this, and of course Zion. It's a 7x4 that I need. I still got five of these. So I think that's all. I also need lockpicks, so let's do uh, like 20. Can I do 9? What, what's that mean done? Oh, this is a stack of lockpicks. Oh, I can do a stack of lockpicks. That's cool. So, is it cheaper? One lockpick is one. If I do 50, it only takes 40. Okay, then. So let's do a stack. Cool. Saves me some, some materials there. That's nice. I'm also gonna start doing some more ammo. I don't have a lot of bullet tips, so let's queue them up. 3000 sounds good. Yeah, I think I like 3000. Put them all in. This was from 6000 lead, so 6000 lead gives me 3000 bullet tips. That's nice. So I guess I can put in more clay. About less than 3000, so let's put it like this. Okay, and let's just cancel the fences and do them afterwards, because I mean, they're gonna break, so I better just keep doing them, because I'm gonna need them later. I don't know, if the next sword I'm gonna defend it there again, I might go for another POI, or actually start a new one for, me, for myself, from the ground up, because as we've seen before, uh, it might actually take longer to try to defend the POI than building one from the ground up. Because at least we can plan for it. We don't have to account for the buildings nearby and stuff. 
But one thing that I would like to test is the effectiveness of the gates. If the zombies are gonna see them as hatches or as walls. They're definitely strong, but let's see. So I came here for the wood and I got the wood. So let's go. And I guess I don't need this weakness here. This little bit of clay. Let's just take it out, fill it up. Make it all floor. Oh, I used some steel there. I didn't want to, but okay. That's in, let's leave it. Uh, I didn't pick up the second gate, the second one of these, so I'm ordered this way. It should turn green, there it is. And now I have to find the sweet spots. Sometimes I'm clicking but it doesn't go, so I think it's over there. I guess I can just add a line around these ones make them a little bit stronger and I could just add a pillar here to hold it in place a little bit inside but I think it should help And I might just close it off on the top, I'm not sure. Okay. So let's see if it goes in now. Gotta find a sweet spot and there it is. Okay, so now we should be hold, held. Should be stuck in place by that one. And there you go, I can go in without issue. This one is defending the wall. Hopefully it will also defend the explosion if there's an explosion inside. Hopefully the gate will also protect the fences. I'm just not going to be able to fix them up during the horde. But that's why I got five. Once the first one breaks, I got the other four. I'm going to do them independently. So let's just close it up for now. And let's work on the set. It's a huge massive thing. But... Okay. We're just having fun with the blocks and stuff. That's fine. Working out. I use some steel again. That's fine. That's how it goes. Okay, so let's turn it this way. It's the same thing, but uh, I like it this way. There it is. Fences are in. So, in fact, the blocks sh should be here. Let let's make this concrete. Oh, gate. I don't have it here. Pick up the gates, and I also don't have the wire tool, so I'm gonna bring it to start doing the connections and test it to see if I have enough power. I should also maybe have some points. Let's see if I do. I got two, so archery. Level seven, so let's go to seven. Six, I need two more. That's fine. If I find that elixir on the trader, I might buy it to rework my points. Let's actually see if I can do it myself. There's learning. Yeah, that's not the one. It's the green one. So I guess I can't do it. Apparently not. I don't think it is on the workbench. Let's just check. Elixir. I can do it on the workbench. Why is it showing here? That's odd. But okay. I got the stuff coming in. So let's leave the... F no, I'm going to keep the fences. Uh, I'm just going to park away the stack. Let's open it up and let's leave like, let's bring more blocks. The way it's all. There it is. And uh, I guess maybe some gasoline. I think I have it somewhere on the truck. Yeah, let's pick up some. Should be enough. But the difference is this one is. On the inside. And what happened on this side was this gate is on the outside. So that's why it becomes flush here. So I either remove the gate from the other side 
and reattach it right up against the wall or I'm gonna have a gap because I can't put a block there yeah it's gonna have a gap there you go because I don't want another thing to be too close to this building here it's way too close I already done this wall coming down this way to make them slide in case they actually jump there uh, so I think the solution is just to remove these gates and put these gates on the outside so that they can't come in here gonna have to be so let's just take it out 